StoryCorps is collecting stories from people around the country, and the project is launching a new initiative to hear from Latinos. It's called StoryCorps Historias, which in Spanish means both story and history. Today we hear from Jose Cruz and his daughter Grace. Jose grew up in the Dominican Republic. In the late 1950s, his mother left their home to find work in the U.S., and he tells Grace his mom's departure was hard to take because she'd been so much a part of their life in the neighborhood of Villa Juana. My mother told me that I was the cutest thing in Villa Juana. She called me Chichi. She said, Chichi, tú eres lo más lindo de Villa Juana. And she would give me a big kiss, and I would go to school with this big stamp of red lipstick on my forehead. <laughs> so she built a self-confidence in me that no one could ever, like, take away. And I was six years old when she left for New York City. And I remember my uncle said, you're going to cry when your mom leaves. And I said, I'm not going to cry, but I think I've been crying ever since. My mother wrote often about what she was experiencing here in New York City. And as a child, I used to look at those postcards my mother would send. Mm -hmm. I always imagined that I would live in those postcards. So when I heard that I was coming to New York, I was in seventh grade, and I thought I was going to be living in the Empire State Building. But we lived in West Harlem. And instead of living in the Empire State Building, we lived in a basement with the front windows looked into a space where people put their garbage. But at the same time, I finally was living with my mother, and I felt so good. <laughs> I would say that, without a doubt, she has been the most influential person in my life. Based on that, are there any words of wisdom you'd like to pass along? Well, I would just say something that my mother told me once. She said, you know, Chi-Chi, I don't want you to be the smartest kid. Just do your best, and I will always be proud of you, and I will always love you. Thank you. Wow, Grace, I am so happy that we have been able to have this conversation. Be beautiful. Jose Cruz with his daughter Grace in New York City. Their conversation will be archived with all the others at the Library of Congress. You can subscribe to the project's podcast at npr.org. <laughs>